Boxing King Media in association with Box Row. Finally, we've got Ebony Bridges in person. Ebony, how's the jet lag? Oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm just, I think I'm pretty much just over the jet lag. Yeah, I'm up at 5.30 and I'm feeling good. Obviously, in Leeds today, you've, you're a new elected home. Yeah. Do you want to quickly tell us, like briefly explain how Leeds became your second home? Well, I mean, obviously, I'm a Leeds United fan, so, um, you know, when I when I came over here, I had to come to Leeds, and just the, you know, the, the Leeds people, the Leeds city, this, the community, I absolutely love it, and, um, yeah, I've just embraced it as much as they've embraced me, so, yeah, you know, um, I just feel like we've all got the kind of the same personality, same mentality, you know, like the, the working class, and, you know, the no fucks given, like, you know, just be you and be real, and I love that about Leeds, and, um, and obviously, yeah, the city's great. And obviously, your last fight ended up with quite a bad in, uh, hand injury. Yeah. How's the hand? Hey, you know what? The hand's great. Um, uh, it was pretty rough. It was a really rough recovery. It took months, but um, I ended up getting uh, injections in it, and um, it's, it's really helped it. So um, I'm feeling very confident with my hand at the moment. And your training situation? I understand you're now basing yourself in London with Tony Sims. Uh, how's that going for you? Well, yeah, Mark Sims. Yeah, um, it's, it's great. You know, I'm um, Sims. I'm not always Sims. Sorry, Mark Mark Tibbs. Mark Tibbs. Yeah, I don't. Why did, why did it say it's Tony you Sims? Tony Sims. But it's close. They're close. But yeah, Tony Sims is a great trainer as well. But yeah, no, I'm with Mark Tibbs and Jimmy Tibbs. Um, you know, it's amazing down there. Um, you know, we get along really well. We've got a great. Um, there's a great stable there with Johnny Fisher and you know Johnny Hedges and stuff. And yeah, it's 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 good to be down there. Um, I'm glad that I'm going to be able to just stay in the UK. And and not jet set around the world before every single fight, you know. Don't get me wrong, I love my American trainers and, uh, you know, they're some of the best trainers I've had. And they'll, but they'll be here um, for my fight because um, Brian Cohen is my manager, so he's definitely going to be there and be in my corner with Kaylee Reese. Um, but, yeah, it's just great to be here, get settled here in the UK and stay here. I think it's going to make a big difference. Just quickly on that, training with American trainers and UK trainers, a lot of fighters go to the US to train with trainers over there. What sort of differences have you noticed? Uh, I mean... Look, it doesn't matter where you train or who you train with, every trainer has, is a different, you know, every trainer offers a little bit of something different, you know, um, you know, obviously the, um, you know, the Americans, they have their American style, which um, I grasped really well and just um, really technical, um, but here, you know, with, with, with Mark, um, we're working, you know, a lot of different things like boxing and, um, yeah, you know, I already fight like a little Mexican, so I really want to learn, you know, boxing and, and I think that Mark's a great, great trainer for that. And let's go to your fight. And from what I've seen, Eddie said you didn't want an easy fight. You no. wanted to get straight back into a hard fight. So tell me about you know what you got coming up. Yeah, exactly. So I have the um, IBF world, cha world title. I'm um, challenging the champion, a Sicilian Roman. Um, you know she's a great champion. Um, she's defended a title like five or six times, I think. Um, yeah, and she's tough, you know. But yeah, I don't want to. I'm not here to fuck around. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to, you know, fucking keep taking shitty little fights and stuff. Like I want to fight for world titles and I want to challenge myself. You know, I'm here to give the fights, the fans fights. And um, you know, I'm not young. I'm not getting any younger. So you know, and every fight for me, um, anything can happen. It could be my last. Who knows? You know. And so I just want to have good fights. And um, I think it's going to be an amazing fight for the fans. You know, she's tough. She likes to sit in the pocket and fight. So. Um, you know, hopefully we get to do a little bit of um, pocket in, inside fighting. But yeah, we'll see. And obviously, it was your first trip back home after, you know, you've spent quite a lot of yeah. time away. Um, obviously, how was it like going back home? How did your family, your friends, how did everyone uh, receive you? Yeah, you know, um, it's good. Obviously, they missed me. You know, I've been overseas for a long time. Um, it is hard a little settling in. It's completely different. You know, when I go home, it's like um, it's like here and then down there. It is a bit of an adjustment. And But, you know, you kind of need that. It's like a little break when I go home to Australia. It's like a bit of a holiday. And, you know, you kind of just settle down and stuff. I get to see my partner and my family. And um, it's really, really nice. But, you know, I'm a businesswoman and, and, and this is my career. So I've got to, you know, make those sacrifices and, and chase my dreams and come overseas and do all that. And um, I'm, I'm lucky that I have people that understand. Can't speak to you without mentioning Shannon Courtney. Any news on, you know, obviously if you, you win this fight, is that still down the pipeline, potentially going to happen again? Yeah, you know what, like what Shannon said, you know, um, when I didn't have a belt, you know, um, pretty much, you know, she didn't want to give me the fight and she doesn't have a belt at the moment. Um, so, you know, I'm focused on this fight and um, winning this fight and then who knows, maybe down the track when she gets a belt, then we can maybe unify. Um, but right now, Shannon Courtney is not in my sights. Um, it is a fight that I would like to have for the fans, but yeah, first, first thing I want to do is get a belt and uh, we can worry about her later. Just to wrap up, Ebony, I want to um, mention the fact that the amount of work you do for women's boxing, you're always posting about the next upcoming female yeah. fighters. I don't see many people doing that. You don't need to do that. People yeah. charge money for that service. They do, yeah. Why do you do that? And, you know, just talk to me about it. Look, I have one of the biggest platforms in women's boxing. Um, and, like, I don't know, like, I'm pretty sure it is the biggest or the second biggest, but I'm Katie Taylor. And, you know, the whole reason I do what I do is to inspire and, and to help women's boxing, you know, it's some, uh, it is all about that for me and I always said that even from the, you know, press conference and all the stuff I did with Shannon and Courtney, you know, 
it's all about um, empowering women and and I see you know these girls coming up and and all they need is a platform and you know all you need to be seen you know sometimes and it doesn't take much for me to do it and yeah I know totally like I charge thousands to businesses to post things on my thing but when it's coming to the community and the women's boxing I just want to help them all and and, and it doesn't take shine away from me you know what I mean um and I just think that yeah I just I just I'm just you know um I don't know, a caring person, you know, so um, yeah, I, I, why not use my platform to bring eyes on the sport and that's the main thing, we need more eyes on the sport, so if I can bring that and then get some girls to come through and get seen, then it just grows our, our fan base, you know. That says a lot about you, Ebony. If I was to say, give me one name, potentially the next Ebony Bridges who can fight and looks good at the same time, tell me one. Oh, I know there's so many, but probably Rihanna, Rihanna Dixon. Um, she's incredible. She's a she's a beauty, and she can fight. Wow, she's she's she can fight. You know. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to watching her career. But there's so many. You know. Um, got my you know my good friend Nicola Hopewell. She's um, she's an amazing fighter as well. You know. Um, Hannah Bagley. I mean, there's so many. You know. Um, and that's the thing we're seeing this transition now. Um, you know, I feel like, and I you know, I always say it's about me, but I, I do feel like since you know I kind of. You know, came out and was just like, you know, fuck it, let's be feminine, let's be pretty. Like, I feel like a lot of the women are like, you know what, yeah, let's embrace it, and and I'm we're seeing a little bit more about it and, and accepting it a little bit more. I got so much shit, man. I got so much hate. I got so many bullets, you know, thrown at me because of the way I was, you know. But now, people can see, hey, guess what? You can do both. And and now the other girls are all coming up and probably not copying it like I did because I copped it all. But I'm happy that I could have done that. You know what I mean? Because I think it, 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 boxing doesn't discriminate. So why should discriminate on your looks as well? You know what I mean? Last question, what's your relationship like with Eddie Hearn? Because I know you're officially a matchroom fighter, but you're fighting constantly on matchroom shows. I am officially a matchroom fighter. I'm on their website, yeah. <laughs> I didn't um, see an announcement. You know, um, normally yeah, well, you can ask Eddie, Eddie Hearn about that um, announcement. I'm pretty sure he should have announced back in April, but that's okay. Um, no, look, um, yeah, um, me and Eddie are good. You know, he's, he's great. And, um, yeah, he keeps putting me on the fights because, you know, I, I'm, I bring the eyes and exciting. And, you know, um, he's good to work with. He gets me the fights and it's great. And your numbers don't lie. Ebony, thank you so much and all the best fight night. Cheers, thank you.